Hi, this is Shadi and today I'm gonna discuss and try to analyze two of the most hardcore techniques of Daria Bilodid. Now, she is a couple of times world champion 2018 and 2019 and her anatomy is built for Ashiwaza like I've discussed it in my previous video. Now we're gonna be taking a look at her Ouchigari and Uchimata and try to see uh, her approach and her hand techniques and also the footwork and try to see how she combines it all together to make a world champion caliber technique and also winning her multiple goals. So let's begin. First we start with her Ouchigari and we're gonna be looking at the world championship winning Ochigari at Baku against Tonaki. Here we can see that it's a standard Ken Ken. However, since Daria is left handed, Daria needs to take an angle as she hops because if she is straight in front of Tonaki and she hops, she's not gonna put her off balance. She needs uh, the foot that she's hopping with and Tonaki's foot that's on the ground to be exactly parallel and that's how she takes her at an angle in order to take her off balance uh, because of the right versus left situation. Here we can see it from another angle. Uh, we can see that Daria took an angle and, parallel and made the feet parallel on the ground. And that's how she took her balance easily. Also the Kumikata, uh, she had a high Russian arm and also uh, her height played a role in it. Uh, here's another example against Galbadrak. Standard Ken Ken Ouchigari, um, sleeves, lapel, etc. Um, she doesn't need that much. It's a very standard and classical move. Another example here is that she grabbed the sleeve of Tanaki and pulled it in order to get a reaction of a pulling from Tanaki herself, and that gave her all the drive she needs in order to do the uh, Ochigari. She didn't need to do a few hops in order to take her down, just Donaki's pull alone was enough to get her the Ippon. Now let's talk about the Uchimata. Now, me personally, I find that Ochigari and Uchimata are very um, like brother and sister. One is a forward throw, one is a rear throw. Here we can see that she started with like a Ochigari entry but spinned it out into an Uchimata, changing the direction of the throw, hence turning it into an Uchimata. But the entry is still the same at an angle. Um, she takes a forward step and reaps the leg, but thus changing the direction, making it into an Uchimata. If she hopped forward, that would make it an Ouchigari. Um, like I said, they're like a brother and sister. You can open with each and finish with the other. Um, Kosei in a way used to do this. Um, that's what makes them very reliant for Daria choosing both of them. Here is another example, another entry from the side, uh, taking a high grip and starting to spin, ripping the leg and changing directions. Uh, this is like a standard Ken Ken Uchimata. Uh, this is not necessarily a Uchigari entry, but uh, however you can do it from Uchigari or start with Uchimata. And if you see the opponent resisting, you can change directions. Uh, that's why you can uh, use both as a starting and finishing point. So uh, that's mainly it. She uses basically a Ken Ken uh, Ouchigari and a Ken Ken Uchimata. Um, here's the thing about the basics, quote unquote basics. Uh, the basics are very hard to master and also they are very, very functional and you can always rely on them, whatever your discipline may be. Even if you are talking about music, you know, the scales, uh, etc. If you master them, you can become a great musician. Similar with judo technique, if you master the basics, you know, entry, uh, footwork, uh, placement of the feet when you are doing uh, a technique to avoid overstretching and being countered, etc. All that stuff, 
will make you a very good uh, judoka offensively and defensively because you need to be aware when you are attacking yes we take risks but also we take precautions so I think that's what makes someone like Daria very uh, good and world champion is that she works with the basics constantly she's not trying to do some fancy kataguruma or a fancy drop or nage with like a tip of the sleeve or whatever it's just basic uh, entry basic taisabaki uh, kumikata and that's what makes her so great someone like Hickson in Jiu Jitsu for example um, same thing he mastered the basics now he adds like a few little angles and tricks here and there making it quote unquote invisible Jiu Jitsu and that's why he's one of the greatest of all time um, this was Shady and thank you for listening